Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is cool stuff because we're looking at the all new 2022 RAV4 SE Hybrid. One of my favorite things to do is help you research for vehicles that you're looking for, help you learn more about the vehicles that you've already bought. This one's brand new. We got to learn a lot more. It's like Billy Madison says, I'm here to learn. And who would be looking for the SE Hybrid? Well, somebody who wants a RAV4, number one, you want that small SUV that has the versatility, the reliability, the reputation over the years. You want something that gets 40 miles a gallon, and you want something that costs less because you want sporty, less than the XSE Hybrid. Here's the comparison. The RAV4 SE Hybrid has a factory MSRP of about 31.7. XSE Hybrid, factory MSRP, just over, smidge over, 35,000. So let's call it around $3,300 less than an XSE Hybrid. When you look at the SE Hybrid, you're probably going to see some sporty aspect to it that might pull you in. You also might see some differences and some similarities to our friend XSE Hybrid. XSE Hybrid has gloss black, different wheels, but it also has the two-tone gloss black roof. This is the monotone. I'm talking in monotone. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. So you get a lot of benefits, a lot of similarities to its big sister, we'll call it, big brother. I love that show, but not exactly the same. And then we're gonna give it an interior first look. Now, instead of the black and blue soft tech seats that you see in the XSE hybrid, you'll see black with blue stitching sport fabric seats. So let's come over here, we'll show the back. And then we'll get a view from the back. We're gonna do this one vlog style. A video blog, a vlog. Good visibility around the A-pillar with that cutout window. This has a standard seven inch raised multimedia touchscreen. Okay, back to the action. Well, same action, different action. Let's take a look at the front end, the first impression. LED projector headlights, LED daytime running lights, so we've got a combination of both here. We do not have the fog lights, but we do have a gloss black pseudo vent, we'll call it. Then a matching gloss black trapezoidal front grille along with the lower bumper and then this silver metallic bumper accent, right? Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. So it's not the latest evolution. It's not 2.5 plus. It's not 2.5 that you see in the all new Tundra for 22, 2.0. Let's open her up. Make it so, number one. We've got a prop rod. We've also got soundproofing material here. And then we've got a tandem bike a synergistic effect, let's say that. Let's call it a tandem bike because they're both doing work just at different times. Sort of like when you ride with a best friend or a relative or a neighbor, it's like, come on, keep pedaling. This is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. It's matched with an electric motor and they both work in combination. They're both doing work here to give you 219 net hybrid horsepower. That's a hybrid because you can see the orange cables electric motor, gasoline engine. This is matched with an electronically controlled CVT, continuous variable transmission. Now to me, one of the benefits is the on-demand all-wheel drive. This vehicle, because it's smart, it works like a front-wheel drive vehicle in dry conditions. So chugga, 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 just the front wheels. But if it encounters slippery roads, um, it could encounter sand or mud or loose rocks, or rain, or snow, or a little bit of ice, not too much ice, nobody could drive on ice. But anyway, what it does is it sends power to the back wheel so that all the wheels, let's do it like that, all the wheels on the bus are going round and round, round and round, round and round. And this helps you get the most traction possible. How about this profile? How about those wheels? Here we've got an 18 inch gloss black alloy wheel design. It's got the metallic Toyota symbol in silver here. These tires here are 225 
R18. So here's the thing about the wheels. They're gloss black. They match. All the accents, you just will not find up above the gloss black two-tone roof like you see in the XSE hybrid. Some other things you might notice, pay attention to what it looks like for other drivers and people who are marveling at your new SE hybrid. When you turn, when you turn, and then down there when you turn, it also has blind spot monitor in the side mirror that lights up kind of like a matching amber orange color. Let's go down the side so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the new headlight design for 2022. You'll see that in a lot of the trim levels. Looks more modern, a little bit more aggressive. I like to say menacing. I really like it though. I think they did a good job with that one. You know, 2022 is a year where you'll see some refreshed features. You'll see new headlight design, you'll see new wheels, designs, colors, a few options on the inside. If you notice, it does not come standard with the power moonroof. We'll go this way. We can see everything, right? Including the back. Look at the back, the back, shaman. Ow! We have LED taillights, LED stoplights. We've got a blue Toyota symbol. That's how you know it's a hybrid. We've got sort of a silver metallic and gloss black bumper. Then our backup camera is under here, chrome badging. Look at that, that looks cool, right? SE hybrid. And then we've got, oh wait, we do not have power lift gate because it would be right here on the key. So we're gonna open it in normal fashion. Hey, look, the window sticker. We'll see that later, promise. This particular one has the all weather trunk mat. Then it's got the tonneau cover so you can hide things when you're on trips. That's a benefit. And then we've got tie downs, a pocket to store things. I was pointing at that thing right there. 12 volt circular port, lighting, and then let's put these down. We're trying to put them down. We're doing this vlog style, guys. Come on, Jeff. You got this. There you go. I'm building myself up because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like you. And then let's look under here to see what we're gonna do if we get a flat tire. We do have a temporary spare tire. We've also got a spot to put the tonneau cover. Lift that up. Insert it, boom, under the floorboard, holla. And I do wanna show you this extra tip here. If you turn this over, you get an all weather surface. And not only that, but you can store this down below deck, like the TV show Below Deck. Well, this slides in and it can free up a little bit more space. This is in those times when you're going to the beach on a road trip and you'd like to put the cooler down a little bit more so you can stack your chairs and things like that a little bit higher. Gives you more room, more chance for more storage, more cargo. Now look here, you see that there's a little bit of an angle going up, a little slope, not too bad. We're still on the bunny hill. And then this is with the seats more forward. And this is with them all the way back and reclined a little bit if somebody's being insensitive. Now I'm five foot eight, I got lots of room. Seats are comfortable. This is very soft, very squishy. I like that. It's a little bit small, but this is a small SUV. You're not gonna expect a wide load in the middle here. And then plenty of room. This is with it mostly back and not reclined so much. Passenger seat, it's more firm than soft, but it's still comfortable and it does wrap around my Legs here, wraps definitely around my lower back. Good head support. And then go back this far here. What, what? All right, it does not go up and down. There's not even a pump to raise and lower you. It does have a grab handle here. Grab and go. The driver's seat, it goes eight way. So it goes up and down, forward and backward, and you can twist it. It's got lumbar support. It's getting closer to the ceiling. I have probably this much room, so probably seven or eight inches, I'd say. 
And then let's go down here. Let's see what the taller people are gonna see. So like this, and then if it still doesn't work right, you can recline your seat a little bit more. And if you're stopped at a rest area, at the back end of a long road trip, well, you can chill out and snooze maybe, or you're camping. This could be a place to snooze. So it goes back almost all the way, which is pretty incredible. And then remember that you can also twist, the twisting motion here. Woo, that gives more thigh support. I need more thigh support. And then again, here's our view from the back seat, just a different angle than we saw before. Laid out with metallic, dark gray, and black accents. And take a look at the blue stitching all the way throughout. It's not dominant, it's subtle to most people, but you will notice it. And you'll see it in the dash. You'll definitely see it in the seats. I put one headrest up, one headrest down. See the pattern here? It breaks up an all black seat for sure. Here's lumbar support, seat goes out, the bottom of the seat goes in. We've got drink bottle storage here. If you wanna lock out the windows so the passengers, like little kids maybe, can't adjust them on their own, then you push that, that locks everything out. Left, so that's the mirror adjustment there. And then right. That's the mirror adjustment. It's getting windy. And then these are one touch windows. I touched it once and now here, touch it again and it goes down. So all the windows are that way. You'll see the fuel door release, the hood release. It's important to clip in the mat, whether it's carpeted or all weather, so the mat doesn't slide. This is a great one, it's form fitting. It's form fitting. We've got windshield wiper de-icer. We've got heated steering wheel, automatic high beams, and this is for the brightness of the dash. You can see when I'm rolling that it goes up and then it goes down a little pocket here. This is how you adjust the steering wheel. It can go in, out, up, down, lock it into place before you start driving. And then our steering wheel controls. This is how you turn on the cruise control. Okay, so that's on. This is how you set it on the highway. Bink, set it at 72, 75, 73, whatever you want. And then this is how you adjust right here, the distance between you and cars in front of you. Three bars is a wide distance, all the way down to one bar is a little bit closer distance between you and the cars in front of you. Radar cruise will keep you backed off. Then, if you have on your lane departure alert, now it turns on, since you have on the cruise and the lane departure alert, it tunes, turns on, sorry, said that wrong, the lane tracing assist that keeps you centered in your lane using the camera here, you'll see it in the windshield. As long as both sides of your lane are clearly marked, then it'll keep you centered. You don't want to, but you could even take your hand off the steering wheel for about eight or nine seconds and the car would still keep you centered. Don't do that, obviously, but you could do it. All right, this is mode AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth. This goes through your presets. This is voice commands. So you can push a button and say, tune to 99.5 FM. 99.5 FM. Okay, cool. That's how you do that. Just push it. If you're doing Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you hold it down a little bit longer, like one or two seconds, and then it'll go beep, and then you give it your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto command. Volume, pick up a call, hang up a call. This one gets rid of messages. I'll open up my door. If I want to get rid of the message for a really short time, just a few seconds, I'm going to shut that, but that's what that does. Okay, this is your keypad for your multi-information display. You're going to have to go through it and then push OK. Sometimes you hold things down, but I'll show you what you can see here. 
That's our miles per gallon. If you hold down the OK button, it'll reset your MPG. That tells you how you're doing as far as driving. If you want better gas mileage, better efficiency, you'll want to have high numbers for start, cruise, and stop. If it's low, that means you're starting fast from a stop, you're stopping quickly, and you're accelerating fast while you're cruising. You want the best score possible, your MPG could go up. I say could because there are a lot of factors involved in MPG. This is lane departure alert, radar cruise control, trip information. That tells you when you're using the engine, the electric motor, and recharging the battery. Oops, I want to go back. Is there something else? Tire pressure. And then this is your all-wheel drive. It'll tell you when you're using the back wheels, when you're using the front wheels. That's a cool schematic to look at here because it really does work when you lose traction. Lane tracing assist. If I hold that down with the OK button, you can turn off the lane center. You can turn on your sensitivity, your sway warning. Let's go back. Pre-collision system, hold down the OK button. You want sensitivity? Do you want it off or on? You should always have it on, I think. This is the blind spot monitor. It's off. And then I'm going to push OK button again. It's on. It's on. Rear cross traffic alert. It's off. It's on. You want to have that on because as you're backing up, it'll tell you if there's a car in the way coming from the side or from behind you. Road sign assist. This is interesting. It's off. It's on. Watch what this does. Hold it down. OK. Notification method. Push it. Do you want to be notified when you go above this posted speed limit? No notification. Visually, visual and audio. Other. Do you want to be notified only visual? Notification level. I'm going to push OK again. Do you want to be notified when you go one mile an hour over, three miles an hour, or five? Let's say the speed limit's 55. It'll give you a notification when you're going 60 or above. Which one do you want? It'll help you drive safer. It'll help you avoid speeding tickets. Now, this one here, vehicle settings. Hold that down, I mean. Tire pressure warning system, rear seat reminder. That lets you know if you've left something in the car, in the back seat. Language, units, kilometers, miles. Language is English, Spanish, French. If you see this lit up here, the message button, the triangle, if you see that lit up in orange, that means you might have low tire pressure or maintenance could be due soon or maybe there's an engine issue. There could be any issue, but check that out and look what that is, make sure it's okay. Let's look in the center console now. Got USB-Cs. Got two USB-Cs in the back and then one larger USB-A. That's the traditional one that we see. Here's the storage space. Nice deep cup or drink holders. And then we've got electronic parking brake, brake hold. We've got trail mode for going a little bit off-roading. EV is electric vehicle. See, I just put it in EV mode. It only works for about half a mile and up to 20 to 25 miles an hour. I've seen it kind of just do its own thing, but it only works for half a mile. So if you're in a parking lot or looking for a parking spot or maybe road construction or an accident on the highway, you could pop it into EV mode and save some fuel. Now, normal is normal. Sport and eco. This is what eco mode looks like. This is sport mode, normal, trail, EV mode. Cool. The radio here, you can do your home button. You can change the home button. Customize the home screen. You can have different layouts. Two pieces of information, three, four, whatever you want, right? Let's leave it as is. So it gives you different information about your vehicle. We could do source, AM, FM, Sirius XM, sound. 
What kind of sound do you want? You can fade it to the front and the back. There's no map on this one. And then phone, apps. That kind of thing. Heated seats, high, low for driver. And passenger traction control off. You can sync it up or not sync it up, however you want to do that. And then up top, you have a little bit of a dimmer, not auto dimming. Sunglass holder, like that. Safety connect. Lighted mirrors with slider. This right here is the window sticker, RAV4 Hybrid SE. Georgetown, Kentucky, this is made in. Great safety ratings. Here's the fuel mileage, 14.5 gallon fuel tank, combined to 40. 41 in the city, 38 on the highway. Just take a look at these. Ah, stop the video. Eight different airbags. Interior, exterior. It's getting windy. This one has the weather package on it for 815. 31, 730, special color added. Get it delivered. This one has some extra options on it. Toyo Guard Platinum, paint protection, all weather mats, door package, 35.8. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Please hit subscribe if you're new. If you're returning, thanks for being here. Now you can follow me on Instagram to see pictures, videos of cars, one minute reviews, we'll call it. That's at Toyota Jeff One and my sister, channel that looks at all brands is called Auto Jeff Reviews. All autos. Auto Jeff Reviews. Instagram for that is at Auto Jeff Reviews. Thanks everybody so much. Peace.